Welcome to this week's edition of Feedback Learnix. Remember to stay up to date with this and many more topics that we prepare just for you. Like, follow, and subscribe. The origin and history of the famous genre, rock. Also, its subgenres and the instruments it uses will be our broadcast today on Feedback Learnix. What is rock? Rock is known as a set of varied genres of popular music more or less descendants of the original rock and roll born in the United States in the 1950s as the result of a fusion between country music and rhythm and blues. The various styles of rock have served throughout the decades of representation and spirit to various urban collectives or tribes and even to social movements of different nature, becoming at the same time a counter-cultural and anti-system flag of sorts a vehicle of the social denunciation and claims of minorities, and also in a representative of American culture, and its economic, political, and social conquest of the world during decades of imperialist behavior. Rock originated in the 1950s in the United States and the 1960s in the United Kingdom. The first was known as the Golden Age, or also the period of classic rock in which rock and roll emerged, whose first theme in history was That's All Right, Elvis's Mom. During the 1950s, rock became popular on a large scale in the United States and the West, thanks to artists such as Eddie Cochran, Jerry Lee Lewis, Roy Orbison, if not the great musicians of black rock, Chuck Berry, Bo Diddley, and Little Richard. The success would be such that in Detroit, United States, rock and rhythm and blues would begin a joint path from which a soloist and famous dancer would emerge in the following decade, Michael Jackson, who would later become the king of pop. The 60s began with the British invasion, whose first agents were the Beatles, the Rolling Stones, the Animals, the Who, among many others. Shortly after, a true explosion of rock variants would occur, nurtured by the countercultural movement and the hippie spirit of the time. Psychedelia, free love, and the sexual revolution deeply marked rock, adding artists of the enormous stature of Janis Joplin, Jimi Hendrix, Keith Richards, George Harrison, Eric Clapton, Bob Dylan, Leonard Cohen, Lou Reed, and bands like Velvet Underground, Pink Floyd, The Grateful Dead, Jethro Tull, Experimental in Nature. In the 70s, bands such as Black Sabbath, Led Zeppelin, Deep Purple, or Queen took elements from other musical genres such as opera or soul to give birth to numerous styles of rock, melodic and artistic, or fast and loud. Rock stands out, born in the United Kingdom, at the end of the decade and clearly oriented towards a political content. In this decade, bands such as Genesis with Peter Gabriel, Ramones, Yes, Alice Cooper, Van Halen, and colossal artists such as David Bowie stand out. The 80s marked the return of rock to more commercial aspects, eventually giving birth to pop, with bands such as Duran Duran, Tears for Fears, INXS, Billy Idol, or even more, Michael Jackson and Madonna. On the other hand, alternative rock is present with The Cure, U2, R.E.M., Pixies, and many more, along with the remnant of punk. The 90s brought a new British invasion, as well as the appearance of more disenchanted and sadder slopes, such as grunge or Britpop, or more mechanizing such as industrial rock, which took sounds from factories and later gave rise to electronic music. Legendary bands like Guns N' Roses, Metallica, Nirvana, Radiohead, Oasis, Blur, and Placebo made their entrance onto the scene. The subgenres of rock are very numerous. However, a list of the main ones would include surf rock, born in the USA. He takes beach life as his theme. Folk rock, fusion music of blues, rock, and folk music. Psychedelic rock, 
experimental variant and close to the experience of hallucinogenic drugs, especially LSD. Blues rock. With the solo electric guitar taking center stage, it combines blues and rock. Heavy metal. Betting on the speed and intensity of sounds, it is the strident variant of rock. Progressive rock. Approaching jazz and classical music, it values the symphonic and complex aspect of rock, even aspiring to philosophical, esoteric content. Glam rock. Its name comes from glamour or glamorous, and it was a return to a certain simplicity compared to the more complex rock during the 70s and 80s. Punk rock. Under the slogan, there is no future, this genre took on the discontent and anger of the lower sectors of the United Kingdom under a countercultural and violent message. Industrial rock. Using the sounds of machines and metals taken from factories, it is a rock of capitalism. The machines, the noise, the regularity. Pop. Pop was born together with rock and it would become its more commercial and conventional brother, which pays more attention to fashionable rhythms, dance, and more ephemeral but popular values. However, in its path, it has varied as much as rock sometimes merging pop rock. That's it for this week's edition of Feedback Learn Next. We hope you enjoyed taking a little look at the origins and history of this famous genre. Stay tuned next week. Thursday night, 9.15 p.m.